Hi there, my name's uh, Jessica Jordan. Um, I'm just doing a little workshop with my son on the Iron Man. So they've been doing a book about the Iron Man and I've just been doing a little workshop with Charlie today on making a little 3D one. Um, so join in if you can. What I would suggest is you break it down to little steps. So perhaps make the um, maquette first, as in doing the armature, and then break it down to then adding on um, the extra padding and then adding on the card and then perhaps you can do it over the course of a couple of days rather than doing it all at once um, and you'll find the kids will interact a little bit more um, but if your kids are really into it and they want to just go ahead and sort of have a go with it all at the same time then just support them in any way that you can um, i hope you're all staying safe and um, i hope you enjoy take care yeah. right okay so what have you been doing at school charlie about the Iron Man. Something about the Iron Man. So what we're going to do today is Charlie's done a picture of his Iron Man, which is just there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a 3D form of the Iron Man. And what we've got to do first is make the armature for it. So um, if anybody wants to join in or have a go at doing this, all I've got is some garden wire because it's nice and flexible. I've got some little tiny uh, sticks. Um, for the barbecue normally so these are quite handy uh, we've got some kitchen roll we've got some uh, good old loo tubes and then we've got some cardboard as well so what we're just going to do is just take off some wire first so you're going to need to give your son or daughter a hand with this um, and then we're going to work the wire and um, make this into an armature now an armature is a uh, basically a skeleton so what you have inside your body is a skeleton and that is literally what holds your body upright so we want to make ourselves an armature um, for our iron man so we're going to need a reasonable length but again we can add more wire if you sort of don't sort of take off enough and i'll show you how to do that no yes darling. so we're going to make a nice little loop to begin with and then we're just going to loop that round and pull that round so do you think you could do that for me have a go at that that's it make your own little loop so this could be his head that's it can you push that round that's it pull it round that's it that's it so we've made a nice little loop like so and then what mommy and daddy are going to have to do is just sort of just take that around the actual wire and just twist that off so you haven't got like a little sharp part like so okay so what we're going to do now charlie so what i want you to do next is you're going to make your body and arms okay so we're going to take a length, like so, and then you're going to twist that back up, like so, and then we're going to twist at the bottom, okay? So I'll let you do that. That's it. Make sure you've got that just clipped at the top there while you're holding it. So you have to hold it at the top. And then what you're going to do is take that bottom part, and you're literally just going to twist that around. So again, mummy and daddy might need to give a hand. Okay, so that gives us the body. And then we've got this leftover bit just here. So what we're just going to do with that is I'm going to take it outwards, like so. So it's starting to give us our arm. And then I'm going to sort of just take that back. Well, more than anything, it's giving us our shoulders. Take that back like so and then we're just going to pull that across like that okay so we've made ourselves a little T haven't we yeah mm. so those are going to be our shoulders like so and then we're going to make up the legs in a second so we're going to need a little bit
Right, so that should be enough for our legs and our body, shouldn't it? So, get that off. So, what we're just going to do then, Charlie, is you're going to make a nice curve like so. Yeah? Can you do that for me? That's it. Oh, don't mind your face. Does it get you? No. So what we've done is we've made ourselves a nice little curve like so. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to join this onto the body. So I'm going to just pull that part up of the body just there. And just pull that and move that around. Very nice, Charlie. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just with our little curve, I'm just going to pull that up and I'm just going to fold that over and twist that around again. So we're just twisting that around and then what we've got is a nice little loop at the bottom there. And we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side as well. Very nice. So that goes around like so. I've got a little extra bit at the top there, so it's going to help me just sort of join on this part of the body. So I'm going to twist that around. I'm going to just take that around the body like so. Let's go over and pull our little loops mm -hmm. that we made at the bottom and mm -hmm. make those like so. So that is our armature. So that's just where we're starting. So we're going to go mm -hmm. around this with a bit of sellotape first, just to hold everything in place. And then we're going to pack it out to make it look a little bit more like a person. Mm -hmm. Right, so there's just a little bit of sellotape here. I'm just going to go around where his legs are. And what it also does by doing this is that any little sharp bits, we're actually stopping those from sort of coming through. So Charlie, can you go round? I'll take the sellotape off. And I want you to just go round his body with some sellotape, please. No. There you go, there's one. Do it with scissors. Oh, you excuse me, the legs. Yeah, so I want you to go round the legs and round the body and round the um, shoulders. Come on, we'll sort out the arms in a minute. Either raw, darling. Just oh, we want to cover the whole entire body in a bit of sellotape, okay? Mm. Oh, God, oh no, Charlie's got sellotape stuck. Mm. Mate, when it comes to sellotape, if you take it either side, like so, got it. Got it. Either side, like so. Stick your first bit onto your uh, wire. And, and then pull that around. Okay, no, not his face. Oh. We just want it on his body parts, okay? So just his body parts, and we're just going to give that a cover. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back. Stick that part first, make sure that's overlapped. And then... The Dawn, Dawn Jumping Jack. Yeah. Is he doing backflips? Is he doing backflips? <laughs> Can you push that over for me? No, the other way, so it sticks. That's it. Well done. So if you could do his little bottom part. Shorter a bit. 
Oh, poor darling. Need another foot to cover the actual foot. No, we don't need to cover the foot just yet. We'll keep that um, showing. Right. So. We need yeah. to make his arms longer, don't we, in a minute? Yeah, so what we've just done is we've covered our armature in a bit of sellotape, and that's just to take any of those little sharpie bits out of the way, really, more than anything else. Now, his arms mostly need to be sort of lengthened, but we're going to do that with a bit of cardboard in a second. So um, what we've got is there, um, and that's where we're sort of starting with, to be quite honest. If you have problems with your wire or your wire is, um, won't withstand, you're going to need to put in one of these little sticks. So what we're just going to do is to make sure that he stands upright and can help hold the weight of the paper that we're going to put on there. We're just going to put just behind him, we're going to put in one of these little sticks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to measure down his leg like so, and then we're just going to chop that off. So Charlie, if I just do a little snip mark there, can you see the little mark there? Do you think you can sort of snip that for me? Yeah. Open up. It's okay. And push down. Push down. Good. You can do it. Well done. So that's what we've got. We're going to do the same on both sides. So again, a bit of sellotape this time behind. And this is more than anything else, it's just to make sure that we're going to hold the weight. So let's do this one first, Charlie, okay? Thank you, mister. So again, we're just going to make sure that that's really nicely attached. Take that little extra bit off. There you go. Just push down that sellotape, just make sure that that's really nicely joined. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So we measure. We know it's about there. I'm going to make a little mark for Charlie. No. And Charlie, can you see where that little mark is? Okay, and chop. Oh, muscles. Brilliant stuff. Well done. You put this one on for me. So if I put that, I hold that on there. I need a bit of tape. Okay. Oh. A little bit of tape on there. And I just need you to wrap that around for me, okay? So I'm going to hold it over the side. So towards me. That's it. And as you're doing it, you want to twist it and sort of just slightly move it down. That's it. That's it. Well done. Good job. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, just squeeze that down and make sure. So that is just going to give us a little bit more stability with our figure. And you could quite easily put another one on the back here as well for a bit of stability. So, I'm going to bring the shoulders out so we get a proper shape. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pack him out a little bit now. So we're going to um, use a bit of kitchen roll or toilet roll, completely up to you. Or you can use a bit of, bit of uh, newspapers, whatever you've got, to be quite honest. And we're going to do the same sort of thing. So what I've got here is I've got a bit of tissue paper. And all I want to really do is to create, start to create a bit of the body. So we're going to take the tissue and we're going to fold it over itself. That's going to go onto his body like so. So remember, we're just creating a little bit of padding on his body. And then again, Charlie's going to put a bit of tape, so tape around for me. Put that down. Okay, so I want you to wrap that around for me. Again, that's it. Perfect. So he's going to need a little bit more sort of padding. So I'm going to just fold the tissue paper over. 
fold again and then we're going to fold again and then we're going to do the same this again yes so we'll fold that over and fold that over again so we're going to can you hold that for me mister thank you So again, we've got to hold that in place. So if I hold it, Charlie, can you hum it? I'll sing it. Um. <laughs> That's it. Perfect job. So once we've got that part, we're going to start to create the body. So we can either go for a square body or we can go for one of the toilet tubes. The nice thing about having the toilet tube is that that's already round and then we can get a nice sort of cylinder body or we can make ourselves a slightly sort of square body by using a bit of card so i'll show you how the um, toilet tube fits around so that because we've put the pattern in there that's going to hold in place so i've got to obviously work out roughly or we have to work out roughly where to cut that tube so i reckon around about here. What do you reckon, Charlie? Come, can you cut across there for me, please? Okay. You can do this, Charlie. You know how to do this. My no. fingers, that's it. So. That is the toilet tube round and then what you would do is you would uh, take a bit of cellar tape and actually sort of attach this on to make sure that that's actually fitting in the right place. Got a cereal box. So nice little cereal box and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut ourselves out a rectangle like so. And then we're going to again measure up so we can see that ideally we need to be about here so if I chop that down to a slightly longer rectangle and again this is very rough there's no real measurements here right Charlie so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little rectangle to go around him. So what we want is we want to have a little tiny fold like so. Can you see that? Nine. And that's going to start at the side of him. So I need to make sure that about here is where I'm going to make another fold. And then I'm going to... So I'm going to do another fold just there. And then I want to do another fold just here. So we just snip off the excess with a little bit extra. So if I've taken it too small, I can always make it larger. Let's just try this out. I'm not going to that works all right so that's fine so that gives us our square body which we're looking for like so I've lost my little health bar right okay so what I've just done is I've taken the card and all we've done is we've wrapped that around so I've just and I'll show you we've made one flat side one bent side then we bend again make another bent side and then a nice flat side and then another bend and then what that's going to do is that's going to go around the body like so okay so can you hold that for me whilst we take get some more cellar tape just to hold that in place so we can 
need a couple of bits of sellotape. Maybe. So I'm going to sellotape that in place. And again, can you take that all the way around for me? Thank you. Right, okay, so you can sellotape that all into place now for me, Charlie. Another piece of sellotape, got it. That's it. Perfect. So what we want to do also is to make sure that this goes onto his shoulder. So we're going to take another set of sellotape across. And that's going to go over. And what that's going to do is that's just going to hold that in place just over the top of the armature. And sort of again, make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. So again, Charlie, going to do the opposite side. Okay. So that goes down. Okay. And that comes across, over his arm, and down his back. Okay, and then just smooth wow. that out. Lovely job. Right, so we're going to sort out his legs now. And just to make sure, we're going to just take some of this padding and just push that out, pull his legs to the shape where we want them. And then we're going to take a bit of tape from the centre, go just around here and pull that tight again. That's going to hold that all in place. So we've got our armature, we've got the tops of our shoulders, and we've got the start of his body, and then we've got his little legs. Okay then. So what we want to do now is we need to create his boots just down here. So we're going to keep the spindly legs and then we're just going to make his boots down here. So again, as Charlie's just picked that up, we can use a bit of our toilet roll because it's already slightly sort of rounded. And we can take that and cut that down like so. And then we're going to just take that around, curl that around just so we've got a nice round shape. And just tidy that top part up and then what we're going to do is we're just going to place that around the bottom here of his foot so Charlie can you see what I'm just doing here what I want you to do is wrap that round and then attach that like that okay mm -hmm. so can you do that for me and then we do exactly the same to the opposite side then we've got to make up his arms can you get that? Well done. That's it. Great. And this again, we're going to just Cut that down either side. Curl that around so that makes that card naturally go around in a circle. Okay, mister. Okay, you're doing fine. Does it fold over itself again? That's okay. <laughs> right, shall we try again? So let's take this piece of paper, this set of tape off, get rid of that. So let's try that again, okay? So curl it around, pull that around, and then what should we do? So I want you to take down, then that gets wrapped around like so. Just like that, okay? And what we're going to do is going to do the same on the opposite side now, Charlie. So again, take that piece of card, 
going to wrap that around like so and then that's going to go around there like that okay what do you think <laughs> There you go, so that's the start of our armature. Shall we do the arms? Yeah. So for his arms, what we're going to do, again, we're going to use a little bit of the cereal um, box. And we're just going to cut ourselves a nice long rectangle. I'm just going to fold that. just in the center and what that's going to do is that's going to go over here like so and then we're going to work out how far down we're going to want his arms so about there is about right so we're going to need two of those roughly the same sort of size like that right so Charlie can you bend that in half for me I'll just start it off for you and then I want you to bend it in half. Not that way. No, lengthways. Okay? So we want to go lengthways. That's it. Well done. So what we're going to do again, same sort of thing, is we're just going to attach that now to the top of his shoulders like so just like that and then we're going to do the same on the opposite side so do you think you could mirror that for me Charlie mm -hmm. so where you've got your cards stop that oh, nice. okay so make sure it goes flat around like so yep so I'm going to bring that up to the shoulder. No, not just yet. And then we're just going to wrap that around like that. So we then we can then fold. If we want the arm to come down a bit, we can actually bend the card into shape. Like so. So we're going to cover this now in a little bit more um, paper, like so, because we need to make his head as well. And then we're going to bulk it out and then we're going to cover it in a little bit of tin foil. And then we're going to do a bit of paper mache work. Okay, so we need to make his head now, don't we? Now, how can we make his head? Could we use a bit of the toilet roll? Yeah, so you cut me the size of his head. Be careful with your fingers if they're inside. So, best way to do this, Charlie, is to flatten your toilet roll first and then very slowly chop. That's it. Mommy, more paper here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that over the top of our nice little loop Again, we're just sort of fattening this out for when we put the actual uh, proper head in place. there just to hold that part in place uh, let's see how much thicker we need it to go so we could do with a little bit more paper on that again we're just going to fold over test that on top it's about right so Charlie can you help me so I need you to pull that all the way around for me. That's it. And that's it. Well done. All the way around. 
and on top. That's a better fit, isn't it? Do you want it more square or do you want it more rounded? What would you like? What do you mean? Rounded? More rounded. Okay, that's all okay. I use this one. <laughs> We will keep that like that then. That's going to go over the top and just over the top like so. So that's going to hold just the top of his hat in place. Or his head, I should say. And then we're just going to do the same over the top again. This time we're going to go lengthways. Just across the top like so. Like that. Lovely. So we've got our head, we've got our body, we've got our arms and we've got our feet. Now we can put more um, tissue paper over this or um, if you've got a kitchen roll we can put some more over that or we can just leave it as it is, so as, as just like that. And what we're going to do, again another way of just thickening it, thicken it out, is to use a bit of um, kitchen foil. And this is quite good for just going over the surface and ho holding things in place. So what Charlie's going to do now is can you watch me and see that I'm just going to wrap that around his leg like so. Okay. And we're just going to pull that down like that. Mommy. Just So you can see what I've just done there. I've just covered his leg mm. in that. And that's going to hold everything in place. So Charlie's going to do the same to the opposite side. So make sure that's nice and flat first. Okay, and then you're just going to go underneath and start wrapping that leg up. He's got one big fat leg, isn't he? <laughs> so what you want to do, Charlie, is you're going to squeeze that tin foil in. And the nice thing about the tin foil is that it will compress down. So whether you're, as a parent, doing this or whether you've got the child really sort of compressing that back down. So we're going to compress that all the way back down and then we're going to work on the body this time, Charlie. So. Oh dear, am I boring you, darling? So I'm just Charlie, can you just fold that over for me? So fold that over. That's it. I'm going to just tuck that underneath. And again, squeeze that all the way around. So what we've just done, so can you pull that across for me as well? That's it, these go all the way down. Squeeze that onto there like so. Can you do that? Mm. Yeah. That's it. 
So we've covered his body and now we want to do his arms as well now, don't we? So I'm just gonna make sure we're just going over this again, just sort of squeezing that all together. And then we're going to do his head and his arms. So we're going to just cut ourselves. Do you think you can cut that for me? Just up there. Mind your fingers. Right. <laughs> Is it tricky? Lovely, well done. So we're going to do your, his arms now. So Charlie, again, can you just try and wrap that for me? Okay. That's it. Get the crumpled down. Lovely job. So again, just make sure. Right, so I'm going to do the other side. Okay. We need to do his head. So that's left. And we need to just do his shoulders. So what we're just going to do is where I can see that there is a little bit of tape, I'm just going to go around that with a little bit more foil. And I'm just going to just tear that down there and bring that around there. And then just give that a good squeeze. So we just need to do his head now. So as you can see, we've got our little man at the moment again once you've done all of this you can leave it as is and you don't have to sort of do any more but we're going to cover ours with just a bit of um tissue paper so we can paint it tomorrow so again right just tear that for me just pull it down well done. That's it. Well, that's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> so. Do you want it like that? <laughs> you do. Yeah, we need to do his neck. That's it. So we're going to, if we fold this over, that's it, like so, and then fold it over again, like so. And then what we can do is just round his neck area. Just going to go around like so like a, scarf. like a scarf absolutely charlie it is a bit like a scarf so i'm just going to pull that around like so push his head down and then we've got our iron man all covered in our tin foil like so so he already looks like a Martian, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so you can keep him like that. You don't have to go any further. And we could just glue some little eyes on the front here, a little mouth and a little heart and everything else. But what we've done with the other one is we've covered ours in a bit of paper and then put a card on the outside. So we're going to paint this tomorrow. So once this is dry, we're going to paint this. So I'll take you through the process of doing that as well. So what we need, Charlie, is we need a bit of card for him to stand on, don't we? So, have we got a piece of card there? 
Do you think that's going to be big enough for him oh. to stand on? Yeah, I think it will be actually. Or oh, do you want to go for that one? Mm. What do you reckon? Bigger one? So we're going to just, again, sellotape down onto a piece of card on the line there. So can you help me with this? Do you reckon? So if I hold him, Charlie, can you tape him? Just on his feet, where his feet are. No. So that can go under there like so. Yeah? Can you hold him up? it's just the really the front one he's got a little tiny base that he can sort of stand on what you can do if you wanted to again to keep him a bit more upright is we can put one of these um, sticks again just to hold him in place if you so wish you don't have to um, or you can put something behind his feet which will also hold him in place as well um, but we're going to go ahead and sort of glue him um, or glue around him so I'm just going to take a little bit, so this can get quite messy guys, so you might want um, something on your table to protect your table, so like newspaper or a bit of tissue or anything along those lines, it's perfect. So Charlie, you want to give me a hand? So what we're going to do first is we've got some PVA glue, so we're going to actually give him a coat of paper. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him a coat of paper. So we'll start with, say, the head first. And we're just going to cover the metal in the glue first. So PVA, oh. you can do that. So Charlie's going to do that. And then we're going to take a little bit of either our toilet roll or tissue paper or kitchen roll. And we're just going to give it a very fine coating.
so we have covered our Iron Man in a bit of paper and then what we're just going to do is add on the eyes, the mouth and his little tin heart because in Charlie's picture he's got a little tin heart and we're just going to let this dry out a little bit once we've done his extra little bits there you go you can see Charlie's little picture so Charlie we need to cut him out a little heart yeah so we can either draw that out and you can cut it out what do you reckon do you think you'll be able to cut this out? No. No? So we've drawn a little heart and then we're just going to sort of cut that out. I reckon you could have cut this out. I can't. Oh my god. I can't cut it. You're fine cut it. So I'm going to draw the little eyes on here and I'm going to get you to try and cut those out for me because they're nice round circles, aren't they? So round circle because his heads were like light heads headlights weren't they <laughs> so i've got a little tiny cardboard heart and again we're going to just put a bit of glue on the back of that and that's going to go on to the front of our little eye man like so and it doesn't matter if you miss pieces on this it's it's only a, a sort of rough project not bad cutting Charlie. That's it. So that's one of our eyes. My put the uh, my dad glow that way. You want it on the yellow side, okay? Because his eyes did glow yellow, didn't they? Careful mm. with your fingers. Lovely. So we need to give him a mouth now, don't we, Charlie? So if I was again to draw you out what his mouth could be, cut that out for me, and then we, we need a bigger Mommy. rectangle as well. Yeah. I'll bring my computers in about one minute. Um, I. How's it going? It's good. fine, Dan. Look! Is it looking good? Well, it's alright. That's totally done, though. Can I have some bottles? You can finish up this rectangle. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, that one. Well done, good job. So, do you want to stick this one on? Pick it up. Where's the screw? Oh, it goes on the front here. <laughs> like that. I just wash my hands again. <laughs> so, here we go. So, once this is nice and dry, then we can paint on this. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, try this out with your kids. Um, you might find that you do most of the work, um, but it's good fun actually just spending time with each other. Bye. See you later. Take care of yourselves.